go. How's it going? Good. Right it's now. cracking. How he always comes out carrying a bag of shit. Got the shit, dude. Nah. Like, don't, don't film that cat. That's not my cat. All right, so this is MTV Cribs tour. This is part of the vehicles that I own. These are just a few of the vehicles. Fancy Lad van on sale on the website, 10 grand. It's a piece of memorabilia. Comes with the urine bottles inside. 94 Camaro. Yeah, this whole place is pretty much like a quad. Matt lives there. We live here. This is the Fancy Lad house. Pretty sure it's haunted. Started in 2011. It was just me, Fisk, and Eric making a video. Well, there's more people in the video, but we were the only ones living together. Let me show you the garage first. Skate this roof about five times in the new Fancy Lad video. Made this, uh, this ramp out of trash during uh, the quarantine. Dude, was that a hardy? <laughs> Switch hardy? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> nice, dude. That was fucking sick, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that double leg tweak. <laughs> you know, you got the duct tape lining to help in the winter save on the heat bill right there. All right, so this is Maddie's room. Since he's moved in, we've kept track of every game of Mario Kart we've played. Yeah, we tied on Halloween. Day. All right, that is the craziest shit I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god, if you could see, if you could feel the energy in this room that day. Unopened board game of Monopoly. Now that's something else. Yeah, I haven't been in here in a minute. I will say though, best video of all time. We got a rule here, if you're gonna rep any other company, let it be Black, black Label or Zero. <laughs> Fucking Yellow Eggs and Jub, Gilly, John Lucero. Legends. And I'm not as tidy, this is the office here. This is where fucking shit goes down, dude. You got some shirts. It's where the Fancy Lad videos are edited, right here. Got the capture deck for the mini DV tapes. This was the first VX I ever had. I don't even know somebody. This was this was like either Eric's or Jake Bison's, I think. I don't even remember. It just kind of ended up in my possession because I became the filmer. This one. It's a gift. San Diego PD sent it to me. What's um what's your favorite thing this room? This graphics poster. I got it because it was the first bong I ever smoked out of. I was like ten years old. Had a graphics bong, it was plastic. But for you know the clown, sick fucking logo. Brings back a lot of memories. My room's a mess. I'm pathetic, but come on in, take a look, just the reality of it. I didn't think you were going to be doing this today. I wouldn't have cleaned up anyway, dude. I don't clean up for no one, bro. This is like my desk. You know, got the guitar there for when I want to make my beats. If I make some beats out there. You make music? Yeah, I dabble. I'm just, I'm just on the come up, though. I'm a mechanical noose, dude. Look out for me, dude. I'm going to be huge. Big fucking star. Um... But no, I haven't read any of these. I plan on it. Yeah. I just, I haven't, can't find which one to start with. But yeah, movies. You know, Abe Dubin says, Abe Orange Man Dubin, he says he knows one thing about me and one thing alone, and that's that I like movies. Let me see. You ever see Cat People? It's about two people that turn into cats. They're brother and sister. And they have this crazy sexual lust for each other because they're the only two people in the world that are cat people. Escape from LA. This movie's insane. One second, he's playing basketball. The other second, there's a tsunami and he's surfing. Then he goes into a paraglide where he's shooting machine guns. All LA culture. Don't show this if, to your kids if they want to see that other one. All right, last one I'll do, because I hear the footsteps. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Phenomenal film based off the book. It's about, it's really about the counterculture of the beatnik mov movement of the 60s. Uh, Jack Kerouac, uh, you know, all, the, all that shit. Based on all by Ken Kesey, okay? So you need to look at it as an analogy for that, of the artist. 
okay? Yeah, Milkshake's at the wrong house, dude. Well, we're going with Mike Schneider's. He's a fucking legend. He's a pro fingerboarder. Tony Hawk of fingerboarding. He paid for this house we're going to with his fingerboard money. And another house. And another house. Yeah. Yo, Benton. Drive the U-Haul over to the parking lot. I'll drive this thing. Oh, yeah. Sturts. At the drop of a hat. All right. Well, hey, see you on the other side. I love regular skating. That's a misconception. I was just talking to Dane Berman about this. I was saying we love high level risk professional skateboarding done well. And that's why Zero, like I was mentioning, is one of my favorite companies. That's why I was mentioning Black Label. I love hard headed fucking shit too, like Ben Gilly just fucking going so hard. You Not know. the most talented skater, but you can tell he's a, all heart. Like yeah. Nice, dude. And I know that we've been, you know, lovable losers for so long, but I think we've done something right by just withstanding 10 years. Some people, it takes them one year. We're just a little slower. So. So, yeah. In your fucking face, President Skateboarding. I don't know who that is. Justice Walton, a.k.a. Milkshake, Zach Papp, Matt Tomasello, Caleb Peterson, Tire Papa, John Benton. Nice, dude. Natty Reddy. Nice, dude. Tony DeRosa. Dude. Ariana Spencer. Yeah. Sick. Dave Bay, and of course you have Colin Fisk. You know, you got the A Barnge man Dubin. Dude, Sam Helwig. Dude, Sam, show him a kickflip real quick. We'll show, we'll, we'll, we'll show him why you're on the team. Go ahead. He's on the team. He's on, put him on the team. He's on the team now. <laughs> Fucking natural. Nice, dude. 